Global soup threat grows as scientists sound the alarm. Supervolcanoes are in a class of their own. Unlike regular eruptions, they eject more than 1,000 cubic kilometers of material. Volcanoes have fascinated humans for millennia, with their spouts of fire and rivers of molten rock. But beneath the familiar cone-shaped peaks lies a quieter, more hidden danger, supervolcanoes. These colossal forces don't erupt often, but when they do, their impact can reach continents. Studying these sleeping giants offers not only fascinating science, but also a sobering warning for the future of the planet. Supervolcanoes are in a class of their own. Unlike regular eruptions, they eject more than 1,000 cubic kilometers of material. That's enough to bury entire cities under layers of ash. They also don't look like the volcanoes you might imagine. Rather than peaks, they often form as large calderas, large sunken areas that form when a magma chamber empties and collapses. Their eruptions topped the Volcanic Explosivity Index, which is labeled a VEI-8. That's the highest possible score. By comparison, the famous eruption that buried Pompeii was a VEI-5, much weaker. A single VEI-8 event would do more than just devastate the surrounding region. It could change weather patterns, block out sunlight, and disrupt global agriculture. Supervolcanoes over long, quiet periods, making them difficult to predict. But their sheer potential keeps scientists on their toes. These rare eruptions can alter climates, change coastlines, and shake up global systems. Understanding their patterns is key to preparing for the unthinkable. Supervolcanoes exist on every continent, though some are better known than others. Here are some of the most famous. Yellowstone is dynamic but not currently erupting, Poland notes. Our data suggests that the magma is being recharged, but at a much slower rate than would be required for an imminent eruption. At Toba, a team from the University of Cambridge used zircon crystals found in volcanic deposits to study the accumulation of magma. Dr. Clive Oppenheimer a volcanologist on the team explains, Zircons are like time capsules. They tell us how long the magma has been sitting and evolving before it erupts. At Toba, it took thousands of years, which is consistent with what we see at other supervolcanoes. Supervolcanoes don't erupt often, but when they do, the results are devastating. Eruptions like Yellowstone's last major eruption. The Lava Creek eruption, 40,000 years ago, would have buried the western U.S. in meters of ash, destroyed infrastructure, and made much of the land uninhabitable. Globally, the consequences would have gone far beyond ashfall. The ash cloud would have blocked out sunlight, triggering a volcanic winter. Crops would have failed, leading to food shortages. The cooling effects could have lasted for years, disrupting weather patterns and ecosystems. The Toba eruption provides a glimpse into these impacts. Studies of ice cores and sediments suggest that the eruption caused a significant drop in global temperatures, potentially reducing the human population to as few as 10,000 individuals, a genetic bottleneck that shaped our evolution. Yellowstone's volcanic drainage is a complex network of magma reservoirs, some partially melted and others frozen. Recent studies suggest that the shallowest magma chambers are about 5 to 15 percent melted. While this does not indicate an eruption is imminent, it does underscore the potential for future activity. Jacob Lowenstern, a geologist formerly with YVO, emphasized